right, so we're going to head back to the options menu on the embedded whiteboard. Once again, that's that three dots button down there. And here in the add tab, we talked about a number of these tools in a previous video, but I'm going to scroll all the way down here because there's one final tool in there that we want to take a look at. And it's, uh, you, it's labeled YouTube video, which does what you think it does. It fires up a search window that allows us to do a search for whatever topic we're looking for here. I'm just going to type in new line. And then when it shows us our selection of videos, we go and choose the one we want. Let me find one that, okay, this will work. A video on New Line Cast, our embedded casting application. And sure enough, yeah, that's what it does. It, it actually grabs it as a YouTube window and puts it on a whiteboard page. And that's handy because that allows us to, okay, we don't need to, we don't need to listen to this guy. Nobody needs to listen to that guy. Um, and so we can actually introduce YouTube into the equation and we don't have to leave the whiteboard to do that. So it's a window that we can move around and we can make it full screen. There's a full screen button there. We can minimize it again. We can't annotate on it because it's an overlay unto itself. But what we could do is like I could take this window, move it up in the corner here, and then I have the rest of the whiteboard space that I can use to write or stick other objects on there or whatever I choose. But it's a very convenient way to make YouTube happen. And once again, you don't have to leave the whiteboard to do so.